I think the leprechaun would fit well into that Irish family that he has because there's nothing more Irish than really a family circus and certainly the Irish represent a family circus. I've known Bill Keane since uh, 1962 or three there about. So, in fact, I knew him the days when he used to spell his, his name with two L's. And then later on, we got mad at him, we knocked one L out of him, so it's B-I-L now. Bill Keane is one of America's foremost cartoonists. Keane is creator of the Family Circus. It's amazing to think that Keane's been entertaining us for 40 years now. The readers identify with it, and that is the secret ingredient behind the Family Circus. Bill was born in Philadelphia in 1922 to Alan Florence Keane. As a child, Keene was timid, but even at a young age had a sense of style in clothes and humor. I was in a, uh, in a Catholic school in Philadelphia, and I was drawing pictures of the nuns, and uh, the, the class thought that was so funny, because I, and I liked the idea of the uh, notoriety that it would give me. By high school, Keene had already begun showing exceptional talent with a pen. He also distinguished himself in another way. So to be different, I had to do something, and I just dropped the L from my name. Soon World War II was underway, his work ended up in Stars and Stripes newspaper and Yank magazine, while he ended up in Australia, where he met his future wife, Fell. Bill and Fell settled in Philadelphia, where the Bulletin hired Bill. Soon, King got his first major break with a syndicator buying his Channel Chuckles comic strip. It was his and his family's ticket west. Finally, it got to be the tail that wagged the dog, and I decided to leave the bulletin, and we moved to Arizona. Keene was already successful, but with a family of seven, he realized his career had to grow and expand. Keene then created his second syndicated comic, The Family Circus. Having their own real-life family circus, the Keene children began to notice things were a little different for them than for most kids. My dad gave me a toy and then insisted that I do something funny with it. The family circus was a smash, growing to 1,500 newspapers worldwide. 1982 was Bill Keene's year. He was honored with the Rubin Award as National Cartoonist of the Year, the cartoonist world's equivalent of the Oscar. But Keene never lost his core sense of mischievous humor. Bill used to always make comments about my height, or rather my lack of height, rather, by saying that the Bishop O'Brien uh, likes to be around children because he's their same size. So, uh, of course, Bill is no giant himself. Keene did work for the Diocese Charity Development Appeal and couldn't resist. He would always uh, take advantage of my shortness, and uh, um, so that's some of the characterizations that he made of me. Even David Letterman skewered Keene with a parody of the family circus. This was Monday's. Look at that right there in the paper. Can you see that? I'm trying to decide if there's anything worth watching on TV tonight. And then down here, don't watch Letterman. This show's a piece of crap. Well, that... Right. I like the idea of being satirized, and, uh, and I figured that the publicity certainly couldn't hurt my feature at all. This guy is really the Charlie Schultz of Ireland, I guess you could say. Today, Bill Keene continues his success drawing the family circus. Now, with nine grandchildren, he has plenty of new material to draw from. When you stop and think that you're touching a lot of lives with the cartoon, it's a gratifying way to make a living, that's for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 2000 American Ireland Fund Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Mr. Bill Keene.